What's up guys, John Michael F. here. So a little while ago on my channel, I did a tasting Asian candy video and I loved it and you guys loved it. So I decided I was gonna do a part two this week. So I love doing these sort of videos for you guys. So I wanted to create a series out of it where I taste not just Asian food, where I taste any sort of food. You guys can give me suggestions of what to taste and I'll think of stuff to taste and do it for you guys. And I wanted to turn it into a series on my channel that's regular, but I can't think of a name for the series. So I wanted your guys help to think of a name. So leave your suggestions in the comments below and also leave suggestions of what you want me to taste. And hopefully you'll see it in another video soon. So I got another whole bunch of stuff and I'm really excited to try them. Some of them look awesome, but some of them look pretty scary. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try are these chips. And I think they're chips. They're like, they're called Barsa fish skin. And I'm pretty sure a Barsa is a shark. Um, if it's not, I'll put whatever it is on the screen. Oh, they smell not that good. They don't look good either. No, I don't I don't even want to put it in my mouth anymore, but I have to. Okay, I'm not sure what to think of those. They're definitely not good. They're like but they're not like super bad either. I feel like they're like I don't know. They don't have much like flavor to them, but they're also do uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna do this just so I can explain to you guys. I'm gonna have another one. Oh, they're like spicy. They're getting actually spicy. <coughs> what the heck? Okay, so they're just randomly spicy as well, but you know like the butchers at the beach, how they have all the fish like laid out, ready to sell and everything? Imagine all those fish had been sold at the end of the day and someone went along and scraped all the oil and fish residue and whatever's left. I think this is what that would taste like. So they're not that good. Okay, so the next thing is this banana cake. And it, I don't really understand how this is cake. Like, it sort of looks like banana mushy mush. Whoa, that has a super strong banana smell. Wow, what the heck? This is like not what I expected to be. It's not too bad. You have in Australia these little banana chewy lollies, but I'm not sure if they're in the rest of the world, but I feel like this is what this tastes like. But imagine getting like a hundred of those and mushing them all together because this is super strong banana flavored. Okay, so the next thing I got are these Lonely God chips. Look at this little god. Doesn't he look pretty happy to be lonely? Okay, so let's try them. These are pretty good. I really like these. These are awesome. These are really good. They sort of taste like in Australia we have these chips called JJ's. I don't know if they're Australian actually, but... This is what these taste like, and they're actually really good. Oh, it's cabbage flavored. I see, I think that's a little cabbage, some sort of vegetable. Okay, so the next thing I've got to taste is this stuff. So this is called green sweet cake, and it actually looks pretty yum. I don't know, should I smell it? I don't know if I should smell it, I because I don't want to have an expectation. No, I'm not gonna smell it, I'm just gonna taste it. I'm gonna go straight for it. It's, oh, well there goes one piece. <laughs> Okay. No. I do not like that. It's sort of like, I don't know, that doesn't taste sweet at all. It's like, it starts off with this like sweet little zing and then it's gone. And then it's just like this green tea, mushy dirt taste. And oh, that's not that good. And speaking of green tea flavored stuff, the next thing we have to try is mochi. And this is apparently a really popular thing in Japan. I think it's from and it comes in all different flavors. This one's definitely the green tea I'm pretty sure this one's red bean and this one is the taro. I'm 90% sure I'm not gonna like the green tea one So let's just get it out of the way. If you don't know what they are, they're sort of like little green They're not cupcakes at all. They're like little jellies covered in powdered sugar and they have like some sort of liquid in the inside of the jelly It's not that bad, for green tea anyway. Like, I wouldn't ever go buy this because I like it, but I guess comparing it to all the other green tea matcha things that I've tasted in these videos, this is the best green tea thing. Okay, so let's try the taro one. This one's actually pretty good. It's got like peanut butter or something peanutty in there. It's actually really good, I really like this one. Apparently the red bean one is the best one, so let's see. Okay, that 
Oh, it's weird. That just tasted like like raw dough of bread. Good, like it wasn't bad or anything, but that it actually just tasted like dough. All right, so the next two things I have to try are ice cream. So I have this red bean ice cream, which is pretty interesting, especially since I just tasted that red bean thing. It looks like some sort of meat with chunks of other meat in it. That literally tastes like a taco in an ice cream. <laughs> this literally tastes like the beans you get in a taco and ice cream, like not vanilla ice cream. I don't know what sort of ice cream mixed together. I bet you there's a lot of people out there that like this stuff. There's probably some of you guys watching that are like, how can you not like that? This one though, this ice cream, I'm super excited to try. This is the melon bar. This one smells like I can smell it without even opening it and it smells good. That is so good. By far the best Asian candy I've tasted out of any video. This is the best one. The next thing I've got to try is actually a drink and this does not look good at all. Literally, it looks like it has insects or something floating in it. Can you see that? <laughs> They're not insects though. It's called a basil seed drink with honey, which actually sounds good. I don't know, actually, is basil, basil is what you put in like veggies and like as a seasoning thing, so I'm not sure now anymore. It's a bottle, but it's like a can as well. Wow, that is a strong smell and it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it doesn't have a lid now, it's a can thing. That was really weird. It's You can taste the honey, which was not bad, but Basil. Maybe if that was like a steak or like some sort of meat and then that was the seasoning, I could probably do it. Imagine getting that meat and then rinsing it out into a drink and then drinking it. I don't think you'd want it anymore. <laughs> That's actually all I've gotten for this video and I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also leave suggestions of things you want me to try. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.